is Chef Kevin Naylor from Top of the Bay joining us this morning. And this morning you are preparing a nice stuffed sole Florentine, right? Yes, sir. Today to, with the sole, um, you can use different, you could use a cod or you could do this same stuffing with striped bass. Striped bass, chicken. I mean, there's, oh, there's, yeah, there's okay. always, just because we do this one thing here, there's always variations of what you do. Uh, spinach, uh, cracker crumbs or bread crumbs, mozzarella cheese, garlic, butter, of course. Uh, roasted red peppers and onions. What I did first, because of the time constraints, it's a it's a very easy dish to make, but it is a little bit you know time. This took about ten minutes to do. Um, we don't you know at the end we only have four and a half minutes. So this is what the stuffing looks like when it's okay, done. Yeah. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll roll it up, and then um, in the next segment we'll make some Alfredo sauce. We'll put it on top, and then everybody's going to have a great uh, breakfast lunch today. Yes, looking forward to that. So you can stuff pretty much anything, yes. but it doesn't have to be sold. But that's the stuffing have, that's you That's what we're using to, today, yeah. And last time you were on, you said that what you cooked for us last time was your girlfriend's favorite. Yeah, fiance. fiance. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Did I say girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to give her the upgrade. I couldn't remember if she was the yeah, fiance. Yeah, she, she's got definitely one of her has favorites the upgrade. Too? I've never made this for her before. All right. So maybe uh, I'll bring some home for we'll, it tonight. We'll test her. it out. I'll see if she'll it's... Uh, let me know how it is. <laughs> All right, great, Kevin. <laughs> Cooking with Top of the Bay this morning here on the Road Show. You can find the recipe and ingredients online at foxprovidence.com. All right, we're cooking with Top of the Bay this morning. Chef Kevin working on his uh, stuffed sole Florentine. And Sean McNamara here this morning from Cupcake Vineyards to talk about the type of wine you should drink when you eat Kevin's sole. That sounded weird. When you eat Kevin's sole. <laughs> Stuff soul. Stuff, Stuff soul. soul. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, well, it is a great dish. I've been watching Kevin make it all morning. It's heavy cream and uh, you know some cheese. My mouth's watering. So, uh, we're going with uh, our dry riesling out of Washington State. It's kind of our diamond in the rough. Riesling is really an emerging category. I think it'll uh, really pair up nice with uh, the dish that Kevin has this morning. Now, when you think of wines, I you know for a, a rookie like me, I always think of like you know Italy or Napa Valley in California. But this is Washington State. Yeah, Washington State is, uh, they've been making wine for years. Uh, they're very interesting wines because it's a shorter growing season. Obviously, Washington State a little cooler than California. So you get really intense reds with a lot of tannin and structure. And for the Riesling, a lot of people think, you know, syrupy and sweet. This one's very dry. You get that nice apricot and pineapple flavors, but you got nice acid to it, too. So it really pairs well with fish. All right, it's Cupcake Vineyards. Try that when you're trying Kevin's filet of stuffed sole Florentine. I think I got that right. We're yes, going to try it in a little bit and put it together. Find the recipe and ingredients online at foxprovidence.com. All right, we're wrapping up Friday on the road show this week. We're wrapping up the week on the road show on Friday. You know what I meant, right? You know what I meant. I it's know Friday. what I meant. Chef Kevin Naylor from Top of the Bay joining us this morning with his stuffed sole Florentine. And what have you done so far? Well, first we started, I uh, discussed about the uh, stuffing before. Yep. So what we'll do is we'll show you how to, to roll the sole. Roll the sole. There's uh, two sides to the sole. So this should be a song. This is, the, <laughs> this is the side that had the uh, skin on it. Right. So that's the side that you want to put up. So that way when you roll it, it'll, it'll, it'll look nice. So there's like a kind of a brownish side and a whitish side. So we want to have the brownish side. You want side to hide the, 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 dark, the uh, brownish side. Correct. So okay. when you're looking at the fish, you want to have that on the top. Okay. So we'll take that stuffing that we made, we'll put a little bit in there. And just for the folks that may have just joined us, what is in the stuffing? The stuffing has spinach, roasted red peppers, uh, garlic, Parmesan cheese, Romano cheese, butter of course, and cracker crumbs. You can either use cracker crumbs, uh, seasoned Ritz, uh, take the Ritz cracker and just crush it up, or seasoned breadcrumbs. I like the cracker crumbs, that's just my personal favorite. And is it but a warm stuffing, or is it you can do that, you put it together and it's cold? Uh, you could do it before, I mean, you could make the stuffing the night before and okay. have it and put it in the fridge. And yeah. Because like, like I had said before, it's not, it's a little bit time consuming, but definitely not difficult. Okay, the process itself you're saying is time consuming, the, putting the stuffing together. The process, in. putting it together. So what we want to do is we want to start with the, the wider end of the fish. Yeah. I, Use my hand here. I only put one glove on, but that's okay. We trust you, you. You you need two hands to do it, and then you just roll it up and let that tail go right in the middle. Now, some people, if you want, you could take a toothpick and you could secure it with a toothpick oh, okay. if you wanted to, yeah. if you felt uncomfortable about it. But there really isn't not necessary. Once you get that little tail piece under there, it's uh, it's good to go. So we got that, just like that, and then it would go 350 degrees uh, to 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. Okay. So that will put aside there uh, the Alfredo sauce. It's going to be the sauce on top. Yeah. Um, you want to heat up your cream to adjust the simmer. See how we have this just simmering here? If you had brought it to a full boil, what would happen is the cream goes over and make a mess all over your stove. And the cream is what? Just heavy cream. Just heavy cream. This is okay. just heavy cream in here. And then, you know, then your wife's upset with you and 
You're gonna Something else that my wife gets this, upset yeah. with me about. Right. Why so, add to the list, Kevin? Right. right. So we have the cream, one and a half cups of, uh, excuse me, today I did three because I'm going to. You're I'm, entertaining I'm, today. I'm, I'm entertaining today. <laughs> and we have the cheese. For the whole so staff, which is lined up in the kitchen as we speak, ready to try out this. So, and then you added the what? The Parmesan cheese? Uh, the Parmesan cheese. cheese. You just how much? take that, mix it in. That was two cups of Parmesan cheese. Okay. And then see how that kind of just thickens up like that? I mean, that's quick. Pretty much good to go. And then you just take your butter. You put your butter in there. Kind of give that a stir. This is butter just makes it better. I like butter. I didn't get this way by starving myself and not using butter. <laughs> I tell you, the camera does add about 45 pounds. 45 pounds, is uh, it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's good to go, just like that. And then we have the sole that I put in the oven previously. Okay, so that was in there again for how long? Uh, this has been here for 25 minutes. This okay. is a big pan. I mean, you're cooking for your family, so you got about, about 25 minutes. Kevin, you weren't kidding. My goodness. So we got this just like that. Take a look at this setup here. Little spoon. Nice. You got your sole good to go. Just like that. A little bit of sauce on top. Put the sauce on top, okay. Well, you don't have to use the cheese right. sauce if you didn't want to. I mean, there's. With cooking, there's definitely variations with anything. I mean, there really are no rules. With baking, you got to follow the rules. Right. And you have to, when it says to use a cup, wow, you got to use a cup. Over here so we can you know, if you don't want to, then I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put that on top like that. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. There it is. That's gorgeous. Stuffed sole Florentine, courtesy of Top of the Bay, <coughs> Chef Kevin Naylor. His fiance hasn't tried this yet, but no. I, you know what? I think she should. I think she'd like it. She'll, she likes all my cooking. Does she? Yes, she does. Of course. Look at all right. <laughs> great to see you again. Have a great right, Patrick, weekend. Go check out Top me. of the Bay. Great spot. And uh, to find the recipe and the ingredients online, uh, or to find them, just go online to foxprovidence.com.